morning guys here we are see day one on the carnival jubilee i got up this morning just to take a look at the sunrise it was already up by the time i got there but it's gonna come back make sure shedney's awake maybe grab a coffee somewhere and i think we're gonna have breakfast over at uh, the main dining room so do that and a couple shows a day so We'll see what's going on. down to Java Blue to get a specialty coffee like a macchiato something like that all right so we got our coffee we got an ice caramel macchiato you got a black and white ice ice black and white yeah um, and the barista there or at least that cashier uh, Tootie I think it's her name I think she was yeah. the one from uh, Carnival Celebration too uh, and it seems that like they do a lot of that where you know, they jump from Excel ship to Excel ship. So, oh God. They have Burberry, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Gucci. It's okay to look at Look at her, she's drooling. <laughs> I'm drooling right here. <laughs> uh. All right, but. <laughs> As I was saying before, we got interrupted by Gucci. <clears throat> is that we think that they're uh, they take the you know like the the leaders were the best ones from each bar or Java Blue or stuff like that, and they train up the next new crew. I mean, this Jubilee only being I think about three months, three or four months old, still relatively new, but yeah. So we're heading over to the MDR right now to have some breakfast. done with the uh, sea day brunch we were pretty quick in and out of there about half an hour um but well we ordered the basic <laughs> yeah we went we breakfast. went basic we went basic but hey I and mean, that's what we we're feeling like this morning so um but in and out of there in 30 minutes looked like uh more people were starting to come in and starting to get a little bit busier so if you want a quick sit down uh breakfast or brunch service i would say start uh reserve it earlier like once they get in or start accepting reservations, and then uh, that way you can continue on your day. Yes, they open at 8.30, and I made the reservation at exactly 8.30, and not even, maybe like a minute or two, the table is already ready. Yeah, so thankfully we were pretty close when we were at uh, Dr. Inks, so it was like a 30 second walk to get over there. So we're gonna try to walk off breakfast a little bit, maybe a uh, window shop at some of these, because I see Shedney's still drooling. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. 
We got, um, I'm probably going to try to get to the pool, or at least show you guys how busy these pools get during the sea days. Um, the weather probably is going to play a factor in that. I think it's a little cool for the pool. But uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what it's like. So we forgot to do anything about this yesterday, but uh, we got about 30 or 40 ducks. I'm gonna start hiding some. Oh. All right, so what do we have? What do we do? What do, we do? Go, 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 go. So I am craving for a California burrito. But you know that we don't have California burrito and Carnival Cruise. Ten, so, nine, tip of the eight, day, seven, six, I am ordering five, a California four, burrito three, from Blue Iguana Cantina. One, so I got the fries from Guy's Burger and I'm going to ask them to add the fries on my Carni okay. Asada burrito. Can I have a wheat burrito? Uh huh. Okay, I will do the beef. Beef. And then, can you add my fries on that? All right. Yes. Moment of truth. It is really good. It's not quite as, you know, authentic as California burrito from California, but it's really close. It doesn't have quite the pizzazz mm -hmm. as a true California burrito does, but uh, it, it'll scratch that itch, you know? <laughs> if, you're, if you're really wanting one and you aren't, you're stuck on a, uh, kind of a cruise ship god forbid but uh yeah so it's a you gotta look surprised when we did it but uh yeah I would, i'd advise it if you want a california burrito just do it yourself guys i mean it's pretty good hat guys yeah as we just got done with lunch and uh had a drink or two over at the uh, Red Frog Tiki Bar. Yeah, up on 17 overlooking the leader deck. Uh, and uh, just watch the ocean go by for a bit, you know. Mm -hmm. People it's, watching. People watching. Uh, <laughs> weather's pretty good today. It's a bit windy though. It is. Uh, it's warmed up a little bit from earlier when we were trying to find the uh, hot tub. Mm -hmm. But um, what we got going on now is it's uh, not quite 1.30. We got a superhero, superhero trivia yeah, up on deck eight. Havana uh, Bar. At the Havana Bar at 1.30, so we got about, maybe about six minutes to get there, so we're gonna hurry up. In the Flashpoint Paradox, what is the identity of Batman? That's question number seven. In the Flashpoint Paradox, what is the identity of Batman? <laughs> It doesn't matter how many times. <laughs> if, you if you took a drink in round one, take a drink. Everybody's asking. This is a good one. Oh, my bad. Hey, listen closely. If you have used a dating app. <laughs> this for the wife. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
good for form all night. And uh, we're going to go to, which one is it? Dr. Inks? Or Dr. Gold? Inks and or Golden Mermaid. Yeah, we'll see which one's less busy. Get some pre-dinner drinks and then we're going to go to uh, Chibang. And uh, I'm not going to lie, it's one of our favorite restaurants on Excel ships. So I'll take you along with this and uh, yeah, I'll tell you how it is. the vanilla and I like that like you know how the drink is so fancy and the ice cube is made it has like a rose as you can see in the video it the ice cube is shaped as a rose and it has some like red dust on it and they pour the drink in. so I think she likes it Hey guys, our first CA was a short one and we didn't do anything but relax. Now due to unfortunate technical issues with a GoPro, we didn't get the chance to film some of the shows and close that night. So this is our attempt to do so. It was a great day. We have a, a great CA day for you guys on the next episode. On our next video is another day at sea where we went to see Family Feud, dinner at Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse, we lost each other for a couple hours, so stay tuned for that one.